Hello, today is Wednesday, October 9th, and this is Citrus TV Now. It's currently 60 degrees and mostly sunny in Syracuse. I'm Nicole Weaving. Here are your top stories. Mental Health Awareness Week continues at SU with a guided meditation at the Barnes Center tonight at 7. Mental Health, Mental Health Awareness Week ends tomorrow with more guided meditations and the Stop the Stigma concert at 7. The Onondaga County Cancer Services Program is offering free mammograms for all residents as part of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Women over the age of 40 are highly encouraged to take advantage of this opportunity to get their yearly mammogram. The program also includes cervical cancer screenings and are available even without insurance. Former Vice President Joe Biden is calling for the impeachment of President Trump today. Biden says he's doing this in an effort to, quote, preserve our Constitution, our democracy, our basic integrity. This comes after the White House announced yesterday that the administration would not cooperate with the impeachment inquiry. Turkey has sent a military operation into northern Syria just days after the withdrawal of U.S. forces from the area. Turkey's goal is to remove U.S.-backed Kurdish forces from the region. President Trump said in a statement that, quote, the United States does not endorse this attack and has made it clear to Turkey that this operation is a bad idea, unquote. The White House is expected to announce plans to leave the Open Skies Treaty. This treaty allows its member countries to fly unarmed surveillance flights over each other's territories. 34 countries are part of the treaty, including the U.S., Canada, most of Europe, and Russia. This marks yet another international treaty that the Trump administration has left, most recently leaving the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty in Rus with Russia in August. And that's all the time we have on Citrus TV Now. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Citrus TV News. I'm Nicole Weaving. Have a great night, Syracuse.